Hey, this is Chris Jericho from Fozzie, and you're watching Anti Hero Magazine, which is one of the greatest experiences of my life, and hopefully yours as well. Don't change that dial, even though there is no dial, because there's no such thing as changing channels like this anymore. So just keep watching, is what I'm saying. What's it feel like playing at Carolina Rebellion? Well, we played here in 2014, and I remember it like it was yesterday because it was a great show. I love festivals. Um, especially this one, because it reminds me of a European festival where people come early, they stay late, and they have a great time all day long. So Charlotte in this area is a great rock and roll area, and we can see that today is like the, the, uh, the biggest Carolina Rebellion attendance ever is today here. So and that's totally because of, of me, I'm sure. <laughs> and you guys are playing down low this year. Yeah. So how's it feel to be on the main stage at the big boy? Yeah, once again, we played Download as well in 2014 on the main stage with Aerosmith as the headliner. We're playing the main stage this year with Aerosmith as the headliner. So I guess technically that means Aerosmith and Fozzie have toured together, maybe. <laughs> but I, I love it there, and I love, I love when Aerosmith headlines because Steven Tyler's ego ramp goes all the way down. And they never specifically said, don't use it. But they never said use it, so I went on the other side and just ran down that thing all night long. So um, it, anytime you can play, download is great. To be on the main stage, it's a huge honor. Uh, and whether it's Aerosmith or all the great bands they have, and, and we really feel like the UK is our second home. So to go back to downloads is, is very uh, gratifying for us. And you guys are also playing Rock on the Range coming up soon. Not this year. We're doing no. We're doing Rock, Oklahoma. Uh, welcome, no. Uh, River City Rock Fest, Northern Invasion, Rock, Rock, Rock Fest, Rock everything, Rock something Fest. <laughs> um, so you guys just released a new music video a couple of days ago. You got the new single out. It's number one on multiple charts. Eight countries. It's really cool. Well, we, we've had successful songs in the past, but uh, Judas is uh, its nothing we've ever experienced before. I mean, right out of the gate, people just embraced it. The video is very cool. The song is so hooky and so catchy. And here we are only three or four days later. The video is already at three quarter of a million views. The single's number one in all these, like Saudi Arabia and Portugal, a place we've never even been before. And on Twitter and Facebook, everything is Judas, 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 Judas. So to us, it's one of those things where it's like, I think because we've been doing this for a long time, there's a lot of goodwill built up towards Fozzie. But now that we have this great song and this great timing that people are really embracing the band. So we feel we're really on the verge of going to the next level in a big, big way. It's exciting. And you guys have had a long career so far. What can you attribute to that longevity of y'all's career? Well, we just didn't quit. You know, we never broke up. Uh, we continue to improve and we continue to build. And I think it took a while for a lot of people to get over the fact that Jericho is a wrestler. Because uh, all that matters is, is it good music or not. And time and time again, we deliver good music and great live shows. And I think there's only so long that people can, can ignore our band if they've never heard us. So when they check us out, automatically they're fans. So I always say sometimes we have to work twice as hard to get people's respect. But once we get it, we've got them for life. And that's a good, that's a good, that's good. We, we, we earn everything we have and that's the way we want it. And you mentioned wrestling, so like what is, how do you find that balance between your wrestling career and musicianship? Well, I mean, you just, you don't do both at the same time. There's a window for one and when that one ends, like we knew we weren't doing anything with Fozzie for 2016. So we, I went back to the WWE and then I knew the whole time that Judas was coming out in May that we were touring, so that was the end of WWE in April. Nothing could change that, because Fozzie's the priority. But you can't tour all the years, and we don't want to, so you go back and forth. Um, and as long as I still enjoy doing it, why not? I mean, you like, you have a Hall of Fame wrestling career. Hopefully, that will lead you into the Hall of Fame in music, too. You'll be the first. Something to think about, I mean, if nothing else, 
You know, when I was a kid, I wanted to be in a rock and roll band and I wanted to be a wrestler, and that's what I did. And I might be the only one that ever did them both at, at a high level, and that's great. And it's, like I said, I'm very proud of that fact because it was a lot of hard work, but I also, I took a chance. I didn't listen to anybody that told me I couldn't do it. I didn't give a shit. If you didn't think I could do it, I don't care. And here we are. So it just shows that if you want to do something, you can make it happen, but you have to believe in yourself and believe in your ability. And that's what I did. Uh, and that's why, once again, everything we get with Fozzie, every step up the ladder is huge for me because we've earned it. And like earning that is one of the big things too that I wanted to ask you about. Like how difficult for you, for you was it to kind of like separate that Chris Jericho as a wrestler to Chris Jericho as a musician? When people first saw Fozzie, the first time they started here. Um, I think it's, for some people it was really hard. You know, I was talking to Taylor Momsen the other day, and I, I feel a kindred spirit with her because I'm sure as we were talking when people first saw our band, they thought I was going to be on stage doing body slams and jumping off the top rope. And she was like, "Yeah," and people thought that I was going to be coming on stage wearing the elf costume, being Cindy Lou Who. And I think people at first kind of scoff at you and like, oh, Jericho's in a band? Well, I don't give a shit. Come see our band and see what you think. And that's what happens. We wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't good. And like I said, it's either good music or it's bad music. I'm sure, I know for sure, but people used to laugh at Kiss. People used to laugh at Slipknot because they wore masks. Guess what? Now it's iconic. And that's kind of the same thing. Every band has some kind of a gimmick, or at least they should. Okay, Fozzie's gimmick is Jericho's in the band and he's a wrestler too. Well, Bruce Dickinson's an airline pilot. I don't listen to Iron Maiden records hoping that he sings about small bags of peanuts and sitting in the middle seat and getting the coach. Vice versa, when Bruce is flying the plane, I don't expect him to be singing Run to the Hills. I want him to fly the fucking plane and make sure I land okay. So you keep both things separate and respect both and understand that one really doesn't have a lot to do with each other other than the fact that it's me involved. And the last thing that I want to touch on here on later too. So how do you like time to even Being on the road is a lot of time of just being on the road. You know, you're on planes, you're in hotels, you're in airports. There's a lot of time to, to, to spend writing. And I, I enjoy writing. I have, I have three New York Times bestsellers, and it was time just to write a fourth. This one's a little different from the other ones. It's not an autobiography. It's more of a self-help motivational book. But it, it, it turned out great, and I really got the style down. And I have a certain style of writing that people enjoy. A lot of jokes, a lot of humor, a lot of uh, self-effacing, cutting myself down. So I really, uh, I'm excited about, about the book because it relates to what we were talking about earlier about believing in yourself and not taking no for an answer. And that's, and that's kind of what it is. So you, do, you have to just distribute your time wisely and I'm really good at that. It comes out August 29th. Okay, so you got the book coming out and then the album. Album, yeah. Which I think in 2014 the same thing happened too when I had the book and an album. So those must be my creative times. You know, so I'm excited. It's going to be a big year for Jericho, a big year for Fosse. That's awesome. Anything else that I didn't touch on that you'd like to have? You're a sexy beast. That's about it.